Let me read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Thou shalt not what? Bow down thyself to them. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. The thing is not bowing down to an image. You're allowed to have images, but you cannot bow down to an image. We're not bowing down to this image, and we're not bowing down to this image. That's the point. It's not to bowing down to the graven image. We're not bowing down to the image. Give me Joshua 23. And after I read Joshua 23, I'm going to let you talk, okay? Let me read Joshua 23. Find that for me. Joshua 23, I think it's verse 17. Joshua chapter 23 and verse 17. I think that's what it is. Read what you got. Joshua chapter 23 and verse 16. Come on. Verse 16. When ye have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, and have gone and... And the brother just walked off. This is why we don't deal with our people. Our people don't have patience. The Bible says not to bow down to an image. My brother, what's your name, my brother, right here? So the point of the commandment, because this brother don't have no understanding. Because if he had understanding, the Bible tells you to debate thy cause with thy neighbor. That's a commandment that's in the Bible, brother. So when it says not to make any graven images, this is what it's speaking of. Read verse 16. Joshua chapter 23 verse 16 Three. when you have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God so let's see when you transgress meaning you're in the midst of sin read which he commanded you and have gone and served other God you did what served other God because the Israelites in the past guess what they did my brother they served other gods but how do you serve other gods read and bowed yourself to them they did what bowed yourself to them so the commandment is not to bow to a graven image that's the commandment, my brother. You can make images, but you cannot bow down to an image. Let's go to John 5, 4, and 3. Let's go to John 5, 4, and 3. John 5, 4, and 3. John 5, 4, and 3. Read, read, read what he wants. Read what you got. The book of John, chapter 5, verse 4. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in it was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Verse 5. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. Okay, so what's the point of the scripture? This is the King James Bible. King James Version Bible. So what was the point of that scripture? What Bible ain't right? How the Bible ain't right, bro? How the Bible ain't right? The King James Version is the original version of the Bible. It's the closest to the to the Hebrew. It's the closest to the to the dialect that they spoke at that time. We overseas spreading the truth. We got schools in Africa. We got schools in Sierra Leone. We got schools in Jamaica. We got schools in Haiti. You said why we calling them by his name? Give me that about there's no tongue. No tongue. It's in Psalms. Find that for me. Alright, give me Exodus 6 and 3. He goes by one name? Exodus 6 and 3. Then give me that. Exodus 6 and 3. Let's see what the God says. So this brother said God only goes by one name. Let's see if that biblical. Read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 6, verse 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. By the name of God Almighty. So he just said, I appear to Abraham and Isaac by the name of El Shaddai, which means God Almighty. Read. But by my name, Jehovah. By my name, Jehovah means Yahweh in Hebrew. Read. Was I not known? Proving that God went by many names in the Bible, brother. Give me Psalms 19 and 3. When you say Christ, guess what? Christ is an English word. Christ is an English word. Let's see what the Bible says. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 3. There is no speech. You hear what God says? There what? There is no speech. There is no speech, meaning there's no language. God hears you no matter what language you speak. Read. No language where their voice is not heard. God says no matter what language you speak, and if you calling him Christ, if you calling him Yahweh, it does not matter. He hears what you're saying. Jesus and the Most High God went by many names. Give me that in Zephaniah. What's that? Zephaniah 9 and 6, right? The different names of God. You know what I want. You should know what I want. 
Zephaniah 9 and 6. God went by many names, brother. There's not no name that God's name is not heard in. There's no speech. There's no speech. What scripture says that? What scripture? What scripture? What scripture? What scripture? What scripture? What scripture? He said, I call my father's name. What scripture? It's one name. What scripture? What scripture says that? Let's see what the Bible says. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. He said there's one name, right, brother? He said there's one name, right? Let's see what the Bible says. Read. For unto us a child is born. It says, For unto us a child is born. Talking about who? Jesus Christ. Yahweh shall read. Unto us a son is given. Unto us the Israelites a son is given. Read. And the government shall be on, upon his shoulder. And it said, the government of the Most High God is going to be on Christ's shoulders. Read. And his name. And his what? His name. And his name. That brother said he only has one name. But the Bible says his name is what? Shall be called Wonderful. One of his names is Wonderful. One of his names is Wonderful. Read. Counselor. One of his names is Counselor. He got many names. Keep going. The Mighty God. The what? The Mighty God. Another name of him is the Mighty God. Keep going. The Everlasting Father. And what did the Bible call him? The Everlasting Father. Yeah, that brother. The Bible just called him the Everlasting Father. It is called Christ the Everlasting Father. Read. The Prince of Peace. And another name of him is what? The Prince of Peace. Right. Showing that what? Christ has many names. Right. So my brother, my question to you right here. What's your nationality? Who are you? Afro-American, right? When we say that we African-American, guess what we saying? We come from two different white men. Leo Scipius Africanus, which was a white man, a Roman white man. That's who Africa's named after. America's named after Americo Vespucci. He was an Italian cartographer, a map maker. So can two white men come together and make black people? So what is our nationality, brother? Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Black is not a nationality. So you believe in the Bible, I assume, right? You believe in the Bible, right? So the reason why it's important to know your nationality, because guess what? Give me Luke 168. Salvation, right? It's salvation for all races of people. You believe so, right? I want you to understand this, my brother. Let me get this sign right quick. This sign, let me get this sign. Where the sign at? Where the sign at? Right there, there it is. Right here. My brother, look at, flip that upside down for me. So guess what? A lot of stuff that we've been taught came from this man. Give me Isaiah 29 and 13 first. No. So us believing that salvation is for all races of people. God loves everybody. Um, God loves the sinner and not the sin. Guess who that was taught to us by? By the same people that hired us in chains. That's right. The same doctrine of seminary school, which is the cemetery school, was passed down from the slave masters. The first seminary schools were created by slave masters, by slaveholders. They the ones who gave us the doctrine that we have today. And we're going to show you that in the Bible. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. He said, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the biblical Israelites. He said that we draw near to God with our mouth. Just like the brother coming up here saying all the doctrines that's in his mind, but nothing he said is in the Bible. God said what? Read it again. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Our people, we draw near to God with our mouth. I love God. They quote the scriptures, but don't do nothing that the scriptures say, right? Keep going. And with their lips. And with their what? Their lips. And with their lips, with their mouths, they what? Do honor me. Our people honor God with their mouth, but God said what? Read. But have removed their heart far from me. The Israelites, the blacks, the Spanish, the Native Americans, guess what? We removed our hearts from God. Right here, this is the start. During the slavery, they gave us this image. We, Our hearts, our minds was removed from God. Hold that. Give me Galatians 1 and 6. This is how our hearts, our minds was removed of God. Because the people that enslaved us, guess what they did? They took our book and they taught us lies. One of the lies that they taught us that Christ was a white man. That is nowhere in the Bible. They taught us, guess what, that blacks was Gentiles. 
That is nowhere in the Bible. The blacks in America are the biblical Jews according to the Bible. Right. So Christianity, during the time of slavery, they got the Bible, and this is what they did. Read. Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. Read. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ Read. unto another gospel. God says all people have been removed to another gospel. Not the gospel of the Bible, not the gospel that Isaiah was following, that Peter was following, that Paul was following. They got driven to another gospel that is not of the Bible. Read. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you uh -huh. and would pervert the gospel of Christ. What did the Christian church do? Pervert the gospel of Christ. So when the slave masters got our biblical text, what did they do? Pervert the gospel of Christ. The slave masters that had blacks and Hispanics in slavery, guess what they did? They pervert the gospel of Christ. They said, slaves obey your masters. They gave you a white image of Christ. Right. They told you, guess what? You have to forgive your neighbors. No matter how much we oppress you, you have to forgive us. They perverted the gospel of Christ. This is a warning that Paul gave us. Now let's go back to what you had, Isaiah 29. So this is Isaiah. This is during the Syrian and Bab Isaiah was warning us that this was going to happen in the future. Read it again. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips to honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. Our hearts have been removed because what? They perverted the gospel of Christ. Read. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. God says our fear towards him was taught to us by who? By the what? By the precepts of men. What men taught us the Bible? The slave masters. The same people that oppress us today. So how did they pervert the gospel of Christ? I ask you a question. It's salvation for all races of people, right? And in the church, they would say yes, right? And you agree, right? So now let's see what the Bible says. Remember, we've been removed to another gospel, not the gospel of the Bible. So let's see what the gospel of the Bible says. Give me that, Luke 1, 68, read. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So my brother, I want you to add here. We read in the New Testament and it says what? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. We're reading the New Testament and it said, blessed be the Lord God of who? Of Israel. Does that say everybody? Did that say everybody? That didn't say everybody. Hold that. Give me Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. This is what we got to understand. What's your name, my brother? Ron. Ron. Brother Ron. My name is Benaiah. This is what we got to understand. God does not change. In the Old Testament, guess what? God was for who? For the Israelites. In the New Testament, guess who's God's for? For the Israelites. And we're going to read that out the Bible. Read what you got. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. God said what? I am the Lord. I change not. God said he does not change. So we got to examine the Bible. Remember, when we was in Egypt, God killed the Egyptians for who? For the Israelites. So if God did that, does God change? If he wasn't for all nations then, he's not for all nations now. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Ah!